Arizona, an average of more than 850 children enter foster care each month. That's according to the Arizona Children's Association. It happens for a variety of reasons, but there's also a variety of ways to help. ABC 15 Mornings anchor Kaylee O'Kelly shares the story of one Valley principal turned foster mom. For Katie Cartier, helping kids isn't her career. It's who she is. This is my 18th year in education, and I started as a teacher in a classroom. From teaching, Katie moved into an instructional coach role, then assistant principal, and now principal, building a relationship with RB along the way. He was in my office um, no less than nine times a day and having uh, a really difficult time with his behavior and a lot of meltdowns and we just established a relationship from there. But one day, Katie learned RB was taken into foster care. And I couldn't bear um, thinking of him sitting in a group home or somewhere else. But I always joke that uh, it takes me hours and hours to make decisions about what pens I should use or what shoes I should wear. And it took me seconds to make the decision that um, he should come to me. Katie was already taking classes to become a foster parent, but she was prepared for a baby, not a nine-year-old boy. I had a crib and I had um, bottles, had absolutely nothing for a nine-year-old. I didn't have pajamas. I didn't have a bed for him. I had nothing. With 12 hours notice, Katie turned to Facebook. She was flooded with donations. Also, getting help from Arizona's Children's Association to get through the first few days. Now, nearly two years later, Katie and RB have transitioned from principal and student to mother and son. We started off with all kinds of picture schedules and behavior plans and all of the behavior things that we were already doing at school. Um, and then it just started growing into a mom relationship. While Katie is in the process of adopting RB, She's also worked to maintain a relationship with his biological mother. I knew that mom needed a lot of support too, and she really needed love through this process. And at the end of the day, we both love him. And so we're willing to do whatever it takes to maintain that relationship. Like any family, things aren't always perfect. And we work on it every single day. But it's work that pays off first time my son hugged me all by himself, which actually just happened um, a month ago. And I said to him, you just, you just hugged me without me hugging you. And he said, I know, I know, don't make it a big deal. But would I do it again? A thousand times over. It is the best thing I've ever done in my entire life. Love that story. Like Katie and Arby's experience, when a child first goes to a foster home, as we've told you so often, that they, they come with just the clothes they have on. That's why every year we take action, and we want to invite you to do the same right now. By helping stock the Arizona Children's Association Just For Me bags. These are so cool. These are bags that go with the kids as they enter foster care. They are filled with personal hygiene and comfort items. Direct giving right here. You can drop off donations at both American Furniture Warehouse locations in the Valley, or if it's easier for you, especially right now, just donate online at abc15.com forward slash kids.